Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Hemisphere. We are at the Atlas D missile base. I believe it's site B. Yeah, site B. Atlas D site B. So we're in the first building, just started exploring. I'll put a link in the description with a little history on this place. It was the first base that was capable of shooting nuclear missiles we're, across continents. We're exploring a piece of American history. So today. yeah, it's crazy. Um, we found ones that were all spread through Wyoming, a little in the Colorado, and around there. We explored one on a trip, but I think this video I might post first before that trip, so we'll be ready for another one. But yeah, let's just get into this explore. This place is crazy. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoy. We're in this first building now, just looking around. I fa we found this bone on the ground, and it looks like someone wrapped rope around it. There's some bathrooms over here, I think. This place is pretty wrecked. Here's a little pocket stereo with a headset. Might have been used back then. Here's the other bathroom. There's still a stall door up. It looks like there's almost bullet holes shot through that. Here's the old computer, I think. There's some keys for typing on it, and then there's a monitor right there, I believe. So most of the stuff in here, I believe, should be from the 60s around. That's when it was pretty active. But then by the 70s, most of the stuff was sold off to farmers and local people. So there's three Atlas Ds, and then there, I believe there's around seven or nine Es. There's another computer screen, and then right in front of it, there's this giant bird. We're not sure exactly what this building was for, but there's this little track, if you see, that goes all around. And then it drops down right there. Right after I understand are there snakes here, we find this on the next path we walk on. I'm pretty sure a bird must have got that because they, they left most of it so it probably flew away. We made it to where the radio tower is. There's this little one here. There's a lock on it but it's not even holding on. So I uh, can get this door open. It's this little building. If you guys can see a little bat down there, I don't know if that's alive or not. And then you come over here and there's that skull. And then there's this freaking black widow spider right here and then we just found a snake over in the field it's and like a funnel black widow and no, we just found a black widow is it right here now there's bones scattered all around you can see the talons of this bird right here there's all the electrical things there i think this might just have been used along with the radio tower so that radio tower is in use currently Andrew just went and checked it out, but I think at one time it might have been used for the base. That's what I think, you know? Here's an old phone here. There's a little picture of this car on this bulletin board. It's the only thing on there. There's a couch back here, a table. I think that's an ashtray. There's a little ashtray. The wallpaper is pretty cool. It's like, if you see that, there's just old houses and buildings, just like bridges on it. And then back there, there's other wallpaper. This wallpaper is really interesting here. There's that little sign there. This fridge is still full. I don't want to get it all 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's fucking nasty. Someone was probably definitely living in here after the base. But originally it was an office, but you can tell by all the stuff in here, someone had to be living. There's a little bird's nest up here with an egg in it. Come down here, this vacuum. We're at the building behind the office trailer. Hopefully we have some light. If not, we'll take some pictures and put them in. It looks like someone might have had a tire shop back here, maybe lived in the trailer. There's hubcaps all along the wall. Coming down to this hallway, there's just more hubcaps everywhere. All on the wall. Crazy. This newspaper is from 1982. It's talking about Reagan. Old 7-Up machine. Pretty sure this was a car shop then. There's these fire extinguishers. It looks like in the first big room there's stuff stored in here, like furniture. There's a little fireplace. Is that a fridge, I think? This glass right here got wrecked on both doors. And it was like that legit glass with wire in it. You can see the wire just hanging out now. There's a whole car door right here. I wonder if it's to that car we found the pictures of. We got this magazine right here. It says bike your butt off. You come in this room. We got these bikes here. Okay, we're heading to check out the basement real quick and then we'll go to the base. It's gonna be scary. Hopefully we have enough light. It should be lighter down there. We got two doors here. Oh, it's really wet. All the water's dripping down. This room is just open. Right up there is the front door. There's a little gated thing that drops down. Here's through the other door. These windows here are broken out too. There's not too much in this basement. Just this like ventilation stuff. We're in the very back now. We were just in that part. Came through the back and found this. There's this ladder here that goes to this one. This looks like some stuff out of Star Wars or something. Yeah, that's what it does. They have to just climb up there to get a look. See the view now. The inside's hollow. They have to chillin'. Here's the door that goes into this. I don't know it's blocked by some wood, but you can see up through there. We're gonna head on to the launch sites. This is a big place to explore. So we decided to come to this one, just in case there was someone living in that camp. I don't know, it looked pretty new. I believe that these things would move and actually open the roof. That's crazy to think that that would be able to move like that. All that's in here right now are just these trucks that actually have bleachers on them. I think something would connect to these right here and slide across. Wait, this? It's, I, I bet it's probably missing some stuff. Like, I think there'd be more connected to this. Things are scary, it's pretty man. scrapped. Okay, this goes underground. Andrew said there's a bird or something. Okay, we're gonna go down now. Hopefully that bird or whatever Andrew said isn't down there. Okay, I got down here. 
I'm not sure if this is what I thought it was. I read online that there were underground control centers, but I'm not sure if that's what this is. Well, there's a raccoon that I hope is dead. Okay, so I guess that was just a little tunnel to the other side over here. It's a hip bone. There's my foot. That's the size of it. It actually opened, so you can see the interior there. The windshield shattered. So we're thinking the control center would actually be the building that we went into that was like an automobile shop and had all those hubcaps in it. That might be the control center for all three of these. That would make the most sense. So we went to the first one, there was like a camper storage, so we decided to go to the second one, which thought they, they're all similar, so we didn't think it'd be too much of a big deal not exploring that one. And then we get to the third one, and it looks like that one was more like boarded up, or I mean the, the things were down, so it was locked up pretty good. And then there was like trailers. There was a car in the back also with pretty new plates on it, so we were kind of worried that someone was living there or something. You get in the back and there's a little shed kind of thing, there was like a porta john in it, and there was a deer that was just like ripped in half, and half of it was missing. And there was Mutilated. Like, so we kind of got sketched out, we didn't know why that would be back there, and we were kind of worried someone was living in those trailers, so we didn't explore that one, but it was probably the same as the one. Um, yeah, those weren't too interesting to explore, it'd be cool to find one without storage, because right now storage um, but the control center that was sweet to explore that's probably the best part of this